A lot of hype surrounded General Motors' 3.0 Duramax introduction. They asserted that the new turbo diesel would be their most dependable diesel engine ever in addition to getting exceptional fuel economy. Overall, it has demonstrated that some of the hype is true, but there have been also some problems, and the most significant 3.0 Duramax issues are listed in this video. I will also tell you about the engine's recalls and how long will it last. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Even though some of the problems described below seem to be significant, know that they aren't all that common. However, they do exist, so we should talk about them. Long cranking times. Long cranking times have been an issue for many 3.0 Duramax owners. The engine frequently cranks but never starts. This issue's solution is not always the same. The camshaft position exciter wheel appears to be the most typical offender. What specifically damages the camshaft exciter wheel is unknown. It takes a lot of time and effort to repair the exciter wheel, especially on the Silverado. Your mechanic needs to take the entire cab off the Silverado in order to replace the exciter wheel. This is a minimum of 40 to 50 hour job that won't be inexpensive. Long cranking times are not only the result of the camshaft exciter wheel. The issue appears to come and go, and there are numerous potential causes. This issue has proven to be a significant headache for Duramax 3.0 owners due to its intermittent nature and variable cause loose turbocharger actuator bolts. Some owners have expressed dissatisfaction with their 3.0 Duramax's unexpectedly subpar performance. Most frequently, those performance issues have been caused by loosened bolts on the turbocharger actuator. In a service bulletin, Chevrolet detailed the issue and suggested fixes. The problem is caused by bolts that are not completely seated, which makes the turbo malfunction. Cooling fans malfunction. The cooling fans on some 3.0 Duramax engines could malfunction and run constantly. The use of the engine block heater in hotter weather has been associated with this problem. Rear main seal issues. Even though there haven't been many reports of rear main seal failure, the harm it can do makes it a serious issue. In essence, if not stopped, a sizable amount of oil can leak from the engine. It should be noted that compared to the other issues listed so far, this one seems to be less frequent. It's crucial to note that some people who have reported this issue claim it recurred frequently even after being fixed. The problem seems to be a rear main seal that was installed incorrectly. Oil pump belt problems. The oil pump belt is the 3.0 Duramax's most frequent issue. More specifically, it pertains to the belt's location and the procedures needed to inspect or replace it. The bottom half of the belt, which some claim could be a serious long-term issue on its own, is submerged in oil and is located at the rear of the crankshaft. The transmission must be taken out in order to inspect or replace the belt. It won't be inexpensive, some people might choose to disregard the service recommendation due to the increased cost of this maintenance service. Unfortunately, doing so can cause serious harm. There is a good chance that the engine could suffer serious harm from a lack of oil if the oil pump belt breaks. Although the location of the oil pump belt is not a repair issue, owners of the 3.0 Duramax should plan on spending more money on maintenance in the future to avoid more expensive repairs. Recalls the Duramax 3.0 hasn't been subject to any specific recalls as of yet. There are service bulletins for the issues I mentioned above, but no recalls. Even the problems mentioned in the service bulletins don't seem to be serious or urgent. Most intriguingly, 3.0 Duramax production was briefly suspended in 2021. There were rumors that there were issues that caused this production to stop. Chevrolet's production was halted, according to some rumors, in order to avoid issuing a recall. However, problems with the supply chain were the real cause of the production halt. But I've heard some rumors that Duramax 3.0 supply chain problem was only temporary, lasting only a few months. How long will a 3.0 Duramax last? Your level of care will determine the durability of the engine. The truck won't last very long if regular maintenance isn't done or if you drive it like you stole it. Having said that, a truck with a 3.0 Duramax engine that is well-maintained ought to last a long time. In general, diesel engines are very dependable and well-made. It is reasonable to anticipate that one of these engines will last 200,000 miles or more. Conclusion Despite all of the aforementioned problems, the Duramax 3.0 is typically a dependable, excellent running turbo diesel engine. Compared to gasoline engines of comparable size and displacement, it offers more power and better fuel efficiency. The Duramax 3.0 Turbo Diesel 2022 model tows up to 13,300 pounds and has 277 horsepower and 460 pounds FT of torque. Chevy's towing capacity has increased from the original 9,000 pound projections. Although there are half-ton trucks with more power, for many people, the fuel efficiency alone justifies the purchase. 
It should be noted that Chevy's initial fuel economy predictions might have been a little exaggerated. The 2020 Silverado's initial estimates for fuel economy were an astounding 33 miles per gallon. Unfortunately, this kind of mileage is not often seen by owners. It appears that the running average is 27 mpg.